2020 was the worst year in living memory for many of us. Two huge news stories dominated the rest, the coronavirus and the presidential election, both of them disasters. Time lost all meaning and any number of significant events became, well, forgettable, when they shouldn't be. I'm gonna try and rectify that by talking about as many non-COVID, non-election news stories from 2020 as I can in the next two minutes. That's right, 12 months, in 120 seconds. I won't be able to get to every story in that time, so please don't at me. Okay, start the clock. January, Donald Trump opened up the new year by assassinating top Iranian General Qasem Soleimani. We avoided World War III, but more than 100 American soldiers ended up with brain injuries. And also in January, we lost Kobe Bryant. February, having been impeached in the House, the president was acquitted in the Senate. Yeah, that was this year. Let history remember that only one Republican, Mitt Romney, voted to convict him. Harvey Weinstein wasn't so lucky. He was found guilty of felony sex crime and rape. March, the president who loves the stock market, presided over the Dow's biggest one-day percentage fall since Black Monday in 1987. Thank you, Donald Trump. It's it's also the month that the world was introduced to Joe Exotic, aka Tiger King, thank you Netflix. April, a bipartisan report from the Senate Intelligence Committee confirmed that Russia intervened in the 2016 election to try and get Trump elected. Surprise! And a potentially hazardous asteroid more than a mile wide zipped past Earth. May, eight minutes and 46 seconds, that's how long a Minneapolis police officer knelt on George Floyd's neck, kicking off perhaps the biggest protest in American history. Also, murder hornets. June, the US officially went into recession, putting an end to more than a decade of economic growth. July, Ghislaine Maxwell was arrested on multiple charges connected to the sexual abuse of girls and young women by Jeffrey Epstein. The president would later wish her well. As you do. August, Jacob Blake is paralyzed, shot in the back seven times by a police officer in Wisconsin. We lost the king of Wakanda, Chadwick Boseman, aka Black Panther, to cancer. But hey, also in August, Steve Bannon was arrested by agents from the US Postal Service. September, the Supreme Court lost Ruth Bader Ginsburg, RIP, RBG, and then gained Amy Coney Barrett. OMG, ACB, perhaps the worst trade in American history since the Red Sox sold Babe Ruth. We learned in September Trump paid less than federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017 than many of us paid our accountants to file our taxes. October, turns out the president who claims to be at war with evil China had a secret bank account in China. November, forget the election, how about the existential threat to the planet? On November the 4th, the United States formally exited the Paris Climate Accords because Donald Trump thinks climate change is a Chinese hoax. December, Biden named Congresswoman Deb Haaland as his pick for Interior Secretary, which would make her the first Native American cabinet member in US history. We also celebrated Christmas on December 25th, which is amazing, because Trump said Christmas would be abolished. But now it's Happy New Year time, so Happy New Year. Hi, I'm Mehdi Hassan. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more of the Mehdi Hassan show by clicking on any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thank you for watching.